Today, I'd like to discuss with you folks how to identify and eliminate strains in muscle tissue. Uh, muscle tissues, when they become strained, the fibers become less connected. And what happens is the collagen and elastin and the scar tissue become in an uh, irregular fashion or irregular matrix. Now, what our job is to do is to find that strain within a muscle tissue and you could do it in any muscle, okay, this muscle testing, but we're going to use hamstrings today as our example. And our job is to find where this strain is. So we're going to put the muscle in a relaxed state. We're going to try to find the strain in a superficial tissue if that's where the client has the strain. So the client is going to press against my resistance. So she's going to be tightening her hamstring, which she's doing now. Where do you feel the strain? Okay, so, they, so she feels the strain here. Now that would mean that the client has a superficial hamstring strain. If we were to do this tightening, tighten again, and the client did not feel too much pain in the hamstring or the strain muscle, wherever it is, the situation could be that the strain is in a deeper muscle fiber. So what we're gonna do to test deeper muscle fibers, because like I said, the client may not feel that one, so we're gonna elongate the muscle and then have the client push against the resistance. And does the client feel the strain? Okay, so the client will feel for the strain right. in the muscle tissue. So she feels the strain there. So to review, if we were going to evaluate where a strain might be in a muscle tissue, we're going to do it slackened to find out if it's a more superficial you know, strain. And then if they don't maybe feel that, it could be a little deeper, we're gonna elongate it. So another example would be biceps. If we have the biceps slack in this way and we contract it and the person feels the strain, it could be superficial. If they don't feel that, we're going to elongate it and stretch it and then have the person tighten or contract um, isometrically or um, concentrically the muscle. And if they feel it, it'll be a little bit deeper. You can begin to do multi-directional friction directly on that fiber. But the best way to eliminate a muscle strain is to do eccentric loading. Um, I work with plenty of athletes, you know, professional football players, runners, and the best results I see is with doing this term called eccentric loading. As I stated before, the muscle fibers, the collagen, and the scar tissue, which we do need scar tissue, forms in an irregular matrix. Our goal is to make the muscle tissue, scar tissue, and collagen line up and run smoothly against each other instead of this matrix where it's kind of pulling in not um, ir irregular fashion. So a great way to do this is to do a term called eccentric loading. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the muscle into an eccentric muscle contraction. But what we're going to do, we're going to have the client use maybe 10 or 15 percent of their strength concentrically and we're going to go eccentric loading for the muscle tissue. So I'm going to push that way and she's going to push that way but she's going to let me win. Okay, so she's going to tighten, tighten, tighten the whole length. Tighten, 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 tighten. Okay, a few, four, five times. Go ahead, tighten. Alright, so she still feels the strain. Then we're going to muscle test it again to find out if she still has the strain. So push. Okay, do you still feel the strain? Not much. Not much, it's alleviating. So what's happening is, when we're eccentrically loading the muscle, the muscle fibers will begin to line up. And the fact that they begin to line up, the strain goes away. There is no strain anymore. Um, if a muscle fiber is ripped or torn, the likelihood of you injuring it further by digging in there is probably going to happen. It's not a good idea to be digging. So what we want to do is do this eccentric loading, and I, again, I've had tremendous success with this type of therapy. So we'll demonstrate it again. She said that the strain is somewhere in her uh, back of her leg here, so we're going to eccentrically load. So she's going to push that way, and I'm going to push this way. And as the strain gets alleviated, so say she's using 10% of her strength, as the strain gets alleviated, she or the client can have more resistance because as the fibers begin to heal, 
they can resist a little bit harder and then that way the client will have a better benefit in the end and the fibers will be engaged a little deeper. So I'm going to have you do maybe 20% of your strength instead of 10. So as we do 20% and don't die at the end, that's a good thing. She started to not tighten at the end. She has to follow this all the way through the range of motion. So go ahead, tighten, tighten, all the way, all the way. Now use even more strength. Use even more strength. It does get a little difficult at times with the bigger athletes and things. Okay, relax. Then we've done a few of those where she's tightening a little bit more, using more of her strength. Then we muscle test. Okay, you feel anything there? No. All right, it, it, this more superficial fibers have um, gotten better. Now we're going to elongate and we're going to have her tighten. Okay, do you feel anything? No. No? Okay, so what happened was the fibers, she had a tear in her hamstring muscles, a pretty minor tear since it got better so quick. But what happens is that these fibers begin to line up with the eccentric loading. So let's demonstrate one more time. We're going to have her push against and we're going to eccentrically load. And you could do that with any muscle group, whether it be bicep or whatever, you know, the muscle group that you want to accomplish with the strain. So let's review. To find a strain in a muscle, we're going to put the muscle in an isometric contraction, but first in a relaxed state. So she's going to push. Contract your hamstring. If they were to feel it, they would point to the strain, as she's doing now. So she's simulating the strain. And then if they weren't to feel it, but they came in saying they had a strain, so there's got to be something going on. So what we're going to do is do the relaxed one. She doesn't feel it so much. We're going to stretch out the fibers because the fibers will be a little bit stretched out. And we need to be able to feel the deeper fibers and for her strain. So she's going to tighten now and then she could point to that or he could point to that strain. To, el to eliminate the strain, we're going to do eccentric loading. Eccentric loading, she's going to use 10% of her strength and carry it through the full range, don't die at the end. Continue to work, continue to work. Then since she didn't feel anything on this test for the strain, relax your leg, dear. We're going to do this one. Tighten, she says it feels a little bit better. Okay, then as it starts to feel better, we can begin to do the multi-directional friction into that area.